Australia's a diverse and remarkably beautiful country. But this, this right here is what puts the Aussie in Australia. This is Australia. G'day guys and girls, thank you for joining me for another special vlog today, short and sweet. But I have to speak quietly because in front of me, I've got 150 plus emus coming down to drink out of this watering hole. In the trees, there is a, so many birds, it's so diverse, and this is what makes Australia such a special place. And I've come down here for the last hour, hour and a half, to capture some of these beautiful moments. I actually come to this location yesterday, but I come back here to sleep because I've been photographing so much in the morning and at night. I wanted to catch up on some sleep, but this is just hard not to get some energy from nature and the beautiful wildlife that Australia has to offer. So enjoy these sounds and moments that every Australian should come and embrace and everyone from around the world has to experience once in their life. The Aussie Outback truly is an amazing, diverse, incredible place to be. This is truly insane. There's about 30 emus just over there drinking as much as possible. And it's incredible because when a mother comes in, there's another mother there. They straight away fight over the territory and they almost try and steal the other one's chicklings. But the hardest thing is, is what do you photograph? There's emus, there's crows. We've just had a wedgetail eagle come in. There's galahs coming in. There is so much. There's birds feeding off the top of the surface. There is so much happening here. But what I want to do in a minute is basically get the cameras, put them over that side and just sit in there for like 15, 20 minutes. They come back and I can try and get some footage that way. I'd love to get some footage that way. It'd be really, really special. I haven't got enough cameras to set up, but this, I don't even know how to describe this feeling. It's absolutely spectacular being here. Stuff the zoo. This does not cost any entrance fee. Look at the glass just flying around. Welcome to Australia. All right, what I'm going to go do now is put these cameras in the hot spot. So the emus have sort of ducked away because it is getting really hot now. It's probably about 30 degrees heating up to. It's going on that midday. So what I'm going to do, there's a hot spot for the birds, the galahs and crows. Just over here, I think there's a river stream coming down. I want to just set that camera up and sort of make it inconspicuous and just record and try and get some audio, some beautiful footage. Now, if anyone knows a contraption out there that basically I could be over here and the camera could be over there and I could just keep pushing record and stop recording, can you let me know in the comments below because that is something I'd be very interested in because I only travel with three batteries and I really think this would destroy the batteries and I've still got, you know, seven, six days left where I got the batteries with hardly any long drives. So if anyone knows anything about that sort of contraption, let me know in the comments below. Some companies or something like that would be awesome. But Let's get some cool footage, hopefully. All right, 
I've come over to the main drinking area with both cameras. Hopefully, I can get set up and catch them. I was all set up, they were on their way coming, and of course, the battery went flat in that, so I had to run back and get a couple more batteries. But it did look promising, because you can hear them in the background, they make this really deep grunting noise when they come forward. I think it's more of an aggressive tactic because there's more people, more uh, emus around. There's still plenty of wildlife around. Hopefully I can get images here and not have to leave the cameras here. I'd rather be here in person, but I know it's very, very difficult too. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna set a camera up over there, leave a camera here, go have some lunch. Oh, this is bloody exhilarating. Ah, there they are, right in the background. Oh, they're a long way away. So another 10 minutes just sitting here waiting patiently. Come on, Inuls. They're literally right behind me. They're everywhere. This is amazing. They're so intimidated by me. I'm intimidated by them too. It looks like there's three sort of packs of emus. One just there, one over there, and there's one in the far back corner and they, they keep coming together and the mothers almost get super aggressive and attack. They're, they're both, they're all very wary of me. They all know I'm here. There was like a hundred of them all here. All three gangs were together, but they were only worried about me. Nothing else, but... You can see once again now, they're all running towards the other packs of it. The other packs coming, so that they all want their own source of water. And this one to the right hand side looks more dominant than all the rest. Ah, that also could be why there's a couple of sheep coming. Oh, this has got everything. Inus are so timid of everything. You might see the sheep coming into play. They'll have no idea I'm here because they're, they're dumb as shit, sheep. Here they come right now. So we've got three sheep coming in. They've just spotted me. He has no idea what to do. Do I be scared or do I drink? There's too much going on. There's birds there, there's birds behind me, there's sheep there, three packs of emus. That's so interesting, actually. I never knew that. The sheep just chased the emus away. I didn't actually think that many flock of emus would be afraid of just three sheep, but you learn something new every day. The power of the food chain out in the wilderness. So I'm guessing those sheep will basically be so worried about me, I can see them looking at me again before they come back down. All things have come alive for the, for the lunchtime on a Monday morning. Bloody hell, what a 20 minutes that was.
a half hours ago, I brought the tripod over to set it up to try and get some footage. And here I still am, two hours later after getting the batteries, still recording these beautiful animals. Today has been an absolute dream day. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I couldn't even possibly show you all the images that I've got. So what I'm gonna do is write a blog, the best place to photograph wildlife in Wilpena Pound. And I'll leave the link in the description below. You can see all the images and read a bit more about where this location is geographically in this insane part of the world. But I am gonna sum it up with two images. The first one, obviously the beautiful emus. They're still hanging around. We've become friends right now. One of the main reasons why I've sat here for so long is just opposite me is four gum trees, the iconic tree of Outback Australia. If there's a drop of water, you'll find gum trees in the Outback. And when I told this video, this is Australia, this is Australia, yes, but this is true Australia, the Outback. Do anything you can to survive. And just across every single bird possible you can imagine has landed there to have a drink of water. And what I've done is got the XF55 to 200 and just sat it across there and got multiple images as the galahs landed, the crows landed, an eagle landed there, a few galahs have flown across. I'm just gonna compose those images and put them together to make an iconic image called This Is Australia. And I won't put this vlog out until a print is ready for this because I want this hanging on my wall as as beautiful as it is watching baby emus drink right out of this lake. This to me is true Outback Australia. And that is what I love about it. So I'm gonna leave you that image right at the end, but guys, make sure to get out there. If you're in a bad mood, if you're not in a good headspace, whatever it is, something in this world would cheer you up just like this. So get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring, drop below and subscribe because this series is just starting to heat up. And I'll leave you with this beautiful image. Ciao.